In the USA alone, there's over 19.7 million children, more than one in four, living without a father in their home. The statistics show how damaging this can be to a kid's upbringing, yet as business owners who preach a lot of freedom, we're often way too busy in our businesses to be present as a father or a friend. So why are we building businesses and making money if we never have time to spend that time with our families and loved ones in the first place, right? And trust me, I've been there. I've almost burnt out in the past building businesses. But today, because of what I've discovered, my life is completely different. And what I learned was there's a formula for how to build a business that you actually enjoy and love. So. I'll give you my system in a second, which by the way, has been responsible, helping me go from zero to over a million in sales and profit. But first, you got to understand what type of business you're building in the first place. Like, what is it that you actually want? Most people, they go from a nine to five they hate to building a business that they hate. So in reality, there's no more freedom, right? It's just another soul sucking job that you've created for yourself. Now, if you're watching this, you probably think that you need more money, that you need to make more to have more happiness in your life. But in reality, what you really want is freedom, time, location, and financial freedom, the ability to choose what you spend your time and energy on, right? So in this video, I'm gonna give you the real raw truth about making money online. In my case, as a present father, working from home in my home studio, and building a business from zero to making my first million dollars online. And if you're new here, just for context, so you know where this experience is coming from. It's not just theory like a lot of other YouTubers. My name is Gosen. I run a few online businesses, making decent money from home, software, personal branding, education, agency. But what's unique isn't how much money I make, but how I run my businesses, because too often people start business that they don't even like right for the money and they do things that aren't fulfilling to them you don't want to do that so i'm not saying that you have to be super passionate about every single thing in detail in your business but there has to be something that when you wake up it just drives you on a deeper level because when things get hard and they will there's got to be a deeper why to why you're doing this right more importantly when the gurus tell you that you just need to book more appointments to keep scaling and you can just forget about your personal life, you know, the hustle culture. What you want isn't more calls on a calendar. What you want isn't to just be busy or productive. What you truly want is a week full of activities that light you up and fuel you, that makes you feel alive. Someone famous once said, what's the point of retirement tomorrow when I can create a life of freedom today? So the million dollar question, quite literally, is this. How do you break free? How do you build a business that you actually love? And how do you make sure you have the options to do what you want when you want? And the reality is this, it comes down to a few things. The first one being leverage and specifically leveraging OPR, aka other people's resources. Because rich people don't trade time for money. You think that's how they got rich? They trade solutions for money. They provide services that solve problems for money. And the best part is they productize and package solutions at scale for profit. So you need to learn the game of leverage if you want to be free. Otherwise, you'll be a slave to the game, to the game of business. You'll be a slave to your business and then again, just have another job. It's a lot of ways to use leverage though to grow your business. So let me give you a few examples. For example, if you want to build an agency and enjoy life at the same time, then you want to leverage other people's time in the fulfillment of your services, right? Business like a machine, you outsource each step. That's how I was able to take my sales funnel agency from zero to 50K per month without spending a single dollar on ads or doing cold calling or cold emails. I leverage other people's platforms, AKA social media, to find the perfect clients and get them to come to me. I then leverage a VA and their time to have them list potential clients in a spreadsheet. So when I woke up, I knew exactly where to go and find those ideal clients instantly. And with an agency, you can sell services, all different types of services that help clients make more money. And then you can charge a premium for it because now it's justified. 
And we, in our business, I sell funnel ecosystems because our clients need more than just one funnel so I can charge them consistently and I can build recurring revenue. If you want to build a no-code SaaS, a software as a service, you want to leverage other people's code, other people's infrastructure. And uh, there's a great option that we use for our software, Funnels.so, an all-in-one marketing and sales funnel platform. It's called GHL or High Level. With code, you can sell a software, people pay for the software, and so you generate passive income. That's how the successful top 1% of income earners think. How can I leverage other people's resources to accelerate my business, not trade my time? How can I build a business that provides me time freedom, not just revenue and money and clients? How can I provide jobs to other people, right, and make money? Well, keeping a healthy profit, obviously, in the business as well. And next up, we have scalable products, not just services. So I'm not talking about drop shipping, you know, cheap gadgets that nobody actually wants to buy. And I'm not also not talking about selling courses just for the sake of generating passive income. That phase of the market has passed a long time ago where you could just basically sell anything with a big promise. People would buy it. In today's market, you need to build what I call goodwill marketing, where you give enough free stuff to your audience to the point where people are starting to ask you for more advice. Can you help me do this? Can you help me teach me how you did that? And that's where leveraging media comes in. So code, people, media <clears throat> are some of the biggest ones. The biggest key in growing your business though will be having a personal brand. A brand that people trust because you're an authority in an industry. And you can build it a lot of different ways. You can build this authority by association, by working with big clients that people recognize. It's actually one of the reasons why I mentioned clients of mine like Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, Russell Brunson, Robert Kiyosaki, just to uh, mention a few ones, Jordan Welch that I also recently met in Spain. I show that because I, wanna, I want you to see that this comes from experience. I'm not full of shit. So you want to build a business that you love, a business that serves you and your loved ones, then you want to build a business on the foundation of leverage. Leveraging code, people, media are just some of those examples. And never, ever, ever again trade a, another second for a dollar. If you like this video, you want to see more content around this, there's a video somewhere here. I've got a program in the description below if you want to learn from me personally, get my coaching. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.